little bit more ball in play today. Patrick likes to be on time. Here we are at 7.05, and Key Bryan slams one up the middle to get the Bucks going. And Nets have a bit of a new look on defense tonight. Yeah, they're up there hacking. Zone down. Get some ground balls. Might be better for the guy on the other side with the changeup. But we'll talk about that later. Okay. Reynolds doesn't hit into many double plays. No. Off the plate in working with Riley Adams tonight. Now I like that pitch right there. It's just matching it up again. We talked about this. Doesn't mean you have to live in there, but being able to change that sequencing. He's going to miss away. Two on, nobody out. Corbin gets a swing and miss from Cruz. Wants to get extended. And a location issue or two here early. In the big leagues. 1-1. One, one. Well, maybe there's a veteran guy taking 52 double plays. Swing, a tip, and a strikeout for the first out of the game. What a sequence right there from damage right away. One for three against Corbin. Uh huh. And the get ahead slider. Wants to do damage. Javis. In on the plate and he pulls it over by his own dugout. And he takes it the other way. Did I just see 96 there? Yes, you did. Wow. One and two, one out. Well, I think what? I mean, he was throwing. Series 3 2 Pittsburgh. Nats trying to get back even. It gets the swing and miss. First base occupied. Nowhere for the runner to go. The Sunday game at PNC. And right in there to get ahead. Plenty of swing. Take that. Three out of four at Cincinnati helped. He made an offer. It's going to be a cold third strike. Perfect. Pitch. Corbin gives up a base hit, then a walk, and strikes out Castillo, the right fielder. Not in the lineup last night. Two against Corbin. That's overload the left side. Patrick's first inning, 20 pitches, 12 strikes. The all important zero one. And three hopper, short hop at the end. Very smooth, Escobar. Dialed that usage back the last couple of years because the pitch kept getting hit harder and harder. Last year, he threw the pitch from off speed stuff now. The changeup, his slowest off speed pitch, averaging around 82. High fly ball to center for Victor Robles. Escobar was pointing straight up just to help him out a bit. Here's Tyler Heineman. Blue Jays put him on waivers and the Pirates grabbed him. 16th they got him. Four for 15 in only 10 games with the Blue Jays. Ooh. And as a Pirate he's hit 172 in 22 games. It's four bunt hits. Most of any catcher, which you would think is very logical. Two and one. Oh, so he's trying to. But you would think that he's got all his pop, and next thing you know, lay down a perfect drag one. Josh Bell under it. Halfway from first to second, that's it. Bob, you know what that bunt done. And he wanted to get Escobar some APs and some action. He hasn't played at all since coming back a week ago. Cesar Hernandez a good that. Patrick what? Corbin seven straight and keep Brian Hayes takes one after the first pitch of the game went right through the box and up the middle it's for not, Pittsburgh's only hit and it's not like they have any you know he's not going to hit him it, it just look some of these guys they put guys in tailspins because they throw 
First time around the order the Pirates go one for eight with the Hayes walk pardon me the Hayes hit then the Reynolds walk since then seven straight. Corbin got a piece of it goodness. It looked like it hit his glove and. And Reynolds gets a pitch up knows what to do with it to his right lane Thomas that'll stop the runner at second. Well played and then a very accurate That's how he started him finished him with the, the slider. Or finish him with the fastball sorry. To his left it was pretty impressive. Jim run almost looks like uh, watching Otani run. <laughs> Both can absolutely fly with great strides. Here's and the Indians. And a 2 2. Well, oh, no, if you miss. 2 2 Escobar right at the bag. Big breaking ball slows everything down. 84 on the slider. Cruz twice. Thus he gets a first pitch slight piece. Coming. Mm -hmm. You would think. And there was a back pick play at first as he set it up with something. That shows him the fastball away. Crowd a little bigger than last night on the heels of another win. Right down the middle. Guess what he was looking for? Not the that. He's had to strand four runners already. And that one just misses to Van Meter, who struck out looking, ending that first inning. Has him late for the heater. Lane Thomas cruising to it. Got the job done. He gets to bat right here and swings through one. Just glad he didn't get the lead off the inning because that would have been, you know, just along with everything. Big. Well, he took one step back against the big power hitter Cruz and then had a lot of goals. You can't hear ball off the bat too great. Corbin slowed down the bat, had him well out ahead, and Franco fires to Bell. We're looking at a rookie of the year candidate here. He's number one among rookies in total bases, extra base hits, playing in his 56 ball game. So, what adjustments will the league make to him, and what double first time up last night? Went one for four. Nationals bullpen really quieted things down later. Four innings on. By Corbin working quickly. Gotta love that. It's 2 2. Yep, and a great pitch right there. He had to stay in on that as long as he could. Big breaking ball. The slider is biting tonight. Oh. Yeah, young hitters, that's what we call getting pitched to at the major Woo! league level. Great stuff. Gets ahead of Heineman with the fastball. Top of the fifth underway. 8 9 1 for the Pirates. That's, that's overload the left side. He's going to just hit one extremely hard on one hop right to Victor Robles. Pirates have their first base hit since the third inning. I don't think he had enough bat to reach. Well, that slider is short. Sure. I mean, it's perfect. I mean, that's just the same exact pitch of Jack Swinski. Hands up. Pitch up. Fastball freezes him. Couldn't pull the trigger. Number two. He hit it hard up the middle twice. Last time it got the outside of Patrick's glove. It's late April. Here. Three and oh. It's a great pitch, though. 
Yeah, he swings on 3 0. It's tailing back to Juan Soto on the move, thinking about a double play over there. To Brian Reynolds takes one low and away. He's walked in single tonight. An executed perfect sinker. Good slide to his left by Riley Adams. Or would you want to just be June Schwarber? <laughs> well, I'll take the damage over the batting average. Okay. I'm a batting average. Another 3 0 count. This guy Ooh. not swinging though. Yeah, he's not a he's not the 3 0 type of guy. And he's on for the third time, taking his second walk. And I think he's fine with that one right there. It's just about executing right here against O'Neill Cruz. Good pitch, good take. Same start like last. Fastball in on the hands. Josh Bell loses it, finds it, throws it, and Corbin waiting for. It. Here we go, top of the six. Corbin and Chavis. A hitter he has struck out twice. And the right hander fouls one away. Wow. Nasty slider. It's been brilliant tonight. Come back in. Do that. Swing and a miss and a ball that bounces. Get ahead heater at the letters right down the middle. <laughs> Little lower. But in the zone. Might help. Right now Patrick Corbin and Riley Adams playing. Van meter jammed and Franco spears it. Two down. That's when you're waiting for it. Couldn't stop Diego Castillo. Still, still bringing it. Down and in, Adam Smothers. They hadn't gone back to it. 3 2 now. That ball is hammered to right center, and it might tie the game. It gets out. And Castillo has now hit six homers in his last 13 ball games. And his eighth of the year equalizes things here in the sixth. Here's Jack Suwinski. And Corbin gets ahead. Patrick gives up. It. Coming into this one, he'd given up two homers, three consecutive starts. Fastball right in there. So Corbin, a new season high in strikeouts with nine. Castillo gets him with two out. The Angels and the Mariners. And Anthony Rendon's injury, of course. He was in a cast and participated. Joseph Frember Valdez tomorrow. And I think they face Verlander tomorrow. Right. Darno two game series. Darno and Bat Matt Olson. I mean, it's incredible. So Patrick Corbin, seventh inning of work, still looking sharp. This is the sixth time besides that game he's gone at least six innings. And Victor Robles will cruise over to that. Rounder to second. Called third strike, number seven for Patrick. Back in the fifth inning. Patrick Corbin. Based on what Hayes has done. Right. Well, two pretty easy outs. Patrick from Bell. Fastball away. So the next two guys have been his. And he there goes go. soft. To drop one in.
Fly ball to center. So they stay with Corbin. He rewards him with a one, two, three, seventh inning. Get this guy some runs. Adams, should I say, if or when needed. But Brian Reynolds is first. Patrick's walked him twice tonight. Corbin's high. Eight. Ooh, that's a good strike. I just edge. I, I love. Ooh, he's going to get him on the other side of the plate. Hitters don't like that. Patrick Corbin's career high in strikeouts, and this is his first 10K game in Deep Park. Slider in there. I think it's safe to say and it's kind of an obscure thing. It's kind of a feel thing. Yep. We talk about you know hitters and hitting's contagious. Well evidently starting pitching's cons to the season that contagiousness. Front door on the hook and Patrick Corbin is also runners on bases maybe a little slower but. Three two and he gets the foul ball. You know these starters too are also start to the next passing the baton. Swing and a miss on the. Guys up there swinging Chavis how much he's in command right now Davey keeping him in the face of him. Out of play it's 0 2. Crowd sensing the moment some of them standing downstairs. And there it is, equaling a career.